my name is Lexus Leaders and this is my seventh video reflection. So first, after watching the lecture and reading the articles, describe your thoughts towards online learning in the K through 12 level. Um, do you think it's appropriate for students to complete online learning and what its parameters should be? Um, so after kind of talking about it in class and going over the articles and kind of reading up on it, I kind of gained a better understanding of why kids do learn online. Um, I at first that was totally against it. Like I'm not a big computer person. I don't think it's really kids get the full effect of education through their online learning, but I can see where some students, it would be more beneficial, I guess you could say. Um, one thing that I really liked was saying that the kids should maybe still get time for like field trips or interacting with the students. And I think that that's really important for part of the online learning thing. And I also think that it's super important for kids to maybe get together in like groups or little groups and still get that, um, like the field trip or the group experience, just so you can kind of get that like social interaction with kids your own age still, so you're not just like locked in with the proctor or your parent or whatever. So I think that that's a big thing um, for online learning and maybe one of the parameters that should be in place, just a certain amount of like social interaction time. Um, do you think every state should require students to complete an online course prior to high school graduation? Um, I think that that would be very beneficial for students, especially going on to college afterwards. Um, as we talked about in class college, a lot of the main majority of college is online and a lot of um, people's futures lead them to completing more courses after they get a job where they're required to go online. And it can be kind of confusing. I just took my first um, summer online class last summer and um, it was stats. So that was really hard to kind of get those like basic um the like basic elements of stats into like my brain and try to take the quizzes and learn and do the assignments. Um, I would have preferred like a teacher um, in class to teach me that versus online for that. But um, other than that, I think that online classes would be very beneficial in high school just so kids can get that basic understanding of like what exactly a online course like requires in terms of like, you know, not cheating or still being able to learn that information versus just trying to memorize it for the quiz. I think it's very nice. And then also learning that information so you're able to take the quiz because I know sometimes it can be hard to get that the information to you when you're not having a teacher there every day to, you know, teach you that information and stuff. So that's the main thing for that, I think. And then describe your experience working with LMS and then which system did you choose and what did you like or dislike about the system and how could you use this as a future educator? I chose to use that Emoto um, online one, and I actually created a second grade mathematics lesson of place value, just rounding to the nearest tens. So I actually put the link in my discussion board and then added the access code so anyone can go on and, and take the 10 question quiz that I created. Um, I chose this because in class it seemed like the simplest, but then when I kind of went to create the quiz, it was pretty simple, but it was just really hard for me to like go back and see where the quiz was like located and where everything was at and how students would see it from their point of view and what exactly the quiz was like after I created it. So I actually went and created a student's account and then added it to mine just so I could see it from both points of view. And I think that that's kind of cool to see. Or maybe it's something that the LMS could add to it was just like kind of get the view from teacher and student because as we know, it's kind of different on both ends. So that was probably the main thing that I disliked about it. So I also would definitely use one of these um, LMSs as a future educator if I was a little more knowledgeable about it before using it with my students. Um, of course, we can always test around with it and stuff. So I think that that's really important. But overall, I thought it was a great way to give the students the information and then maybe in class and then send them home with assignments or with quizzes so that they can complete those and maybe save some save some time in, in class or out of school just taking that, that quiz out of school, if that makes sense. So overall, I thought that the LMS has had their pros and cons, but um, overall, I thought it was a very beneficial thing for students to, a great way for students to learn in different circumstances and an easy way for teachers to use these LMSs to, um, to connect with those students on a different level. So this is my um, seventh video reflection. Thank you.